Over four years ago, Lil Uzi Vert dropped his most anticipated rap album, Eternal A Take. I remember the exact day that this album dropped. I remember I was in English class back in my freshman year of high school. And out of nowhere, someone just went, Lil Uzi Vert just dropped an album. So pretty much half the class immediately just went to their phone, they snuck an AirPod in their ear, and they started playing it. If you were there, then you know that listening to that album for the very first time was a really special experience, and honestly, looking back, it's kind of nostalgic. But yeah, here we are four years later after the album dropped. So the question is, does this album still hold up all this time later, and did it age well? I went back recently and I decided to play the album from start to finish, and I was pretty pleasantly surprised. It was cool to revisit a lot of my old favorite songs from the album like Low Main, Homecoming, P2, but there were also some other songs on the album that kind of flew under the radar for me when it first dropped, and after going back and revisiting those songs, I had to add them to my playlist. Some of those songs include Secure the Bag, Prices, Pop, You Better Move. Those are all some really good underrated songs from the album. I will say that there is one skip on this album. That song being Urgency. I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty weak track, and I wasn't really too big of a fan of that song. But yeah, if you decide to forget about that one song and just look at the rest of the album, then it's honestly a pretty good project from start to finish. The little mini story about Uzi being abducted by aliens is also pretty cool. But yeah, if you guys remember when this album first initially dropped, a lot of people were saying that it didn't live up to the hype, and because of that, people didn't really give it a fair shot. And to be honest, that whole narrative wasn't really even Lil Uzi's fault. The album was originally announced all the way back in 2018, with the plan of it releasing sometime later that year or early next year. But it took like two whole years for this album to actually materialize because there was this huge drama going on between Uzi and his label. They just weren't letting him drop fucking anything. Well, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but I'm sure you can find an article going into detail about all the details and the entire timeline of the whole label dispute, but that's not really the point of today's video. I kind of just wanted to hop on here and give my praise about this album because I don't really think it was given a fair shot when it first dropped. Obviously, a lot of people loved that album, but not everyone did. People were saying it was mid, that it was not worth the wait, it didn't live up to the hype, which is the thing that sucks about something having way too much hype. People People go into something having these crazy unrealistic expectations about how something should sound, and then when it doesn't fit their vision of what they thought it would sound like, they immediately rush to call the thing mid, overhype, and Eternal A Take isn't the only example of this. Whole lot of red, I'm pretty sure you guys all remember when that thing first dropped, everyone was calling that shit trash, and it took quite a bit of time for the whole thing to grow on people. But yeah, if you're one of those people that listened to the album when it first dropped, thought it didn't live up to the hype and just completely forgot about it, you should honestly go back and listen to it again with an open mind because it's a pretty good listen from start to finish and the whole thing is aged pretty well in my opinion. Although I'm sure that there's still a lot of people in Uzi's fanbase that have always loved the album and look back on it with really fond memories. Myself included, I thought this was really good. This was actually the first album by Uzi that I listened to from start to finish when it dropped because I had listened to Lil Uzi on and off before then, but since everybody was talking about it when it came out, I finally decided to give the album a try, and for that reason, it's honestly my favorite Lil Uzi album. I wouldn't go as far as to say it's his best album, because after that, that's when I got super into Lil Uzi and started listening to all his shit, but it's definitely the project that made me a fan of him. So yeah, in short, this album is pretty goaded. I fuck with it. That's all I really have to say, and I'll see you guys in the next video.